Hi everyone, it's Kim and I am here to show my latest project for Handicraft Suppliers Design Team. Um, I apologize for this video being a little late. I had some computer issues and um, I was trying to get computers situated and switched over and all that and it took a little bit of time. So uh, let me move my sign and I will show you the products that I used for my project. The first one I use is these beautiful gardenias, the white and pink, really pretty. This is the item code, 21530-275, and it's the white and pink. And then I use these beautiful brown um, tea roses. Item number 391-10, color is 272, and I really love these. And then I also used um, some of these little pink rosebuds from this uh, pack here, which is in the blowout section of Handicraft Suppliers, and I used these little pink ones and you get two different tone reds and the item number is MCC54212 and they're the mini roses, rosebuds and I use these little pink ones and then I use these mini rosebuds in um, I believe the 7 millimeter. love these for fillers and the item is 353-C-25 and the color is 248 and I used a couple of them and then I also used the same rosebuds only in the smaller size in the 4 millimeter. so I used a couple of these and this is the item code 351-C and the color is 248 And then I also used one of these uh, crystal brads that they sell, which I'm, I think this is also in the blowout section. Really pretty. And the item is BDC 78013-25, and they're the, the pink ones. So I used one of those. So those are the products I used and let me show you what I have done. I have taken a little uh, chipboard box and I have altered it, decorated it up as a little trinket box which I'm going to put some yummies inside. I haven't done the inside yet because I'm not sure what I want to put inside. I just might put it on my desk and store stuff in it. So I papered the whole box even the bottom and I love this paper really pretty and I believe this paper is uh, from Marion Smith and I had it in my stash and I love it it's so just so pretty I love all the colors and then what I've done is I've taken this beautiful crocheted lace in a cream antique color and put it all the way around the box and then I've added um, this little brown trim almost like a Chinese braid only a little bit smaller and I've also gone all the way around the box with that and then I have um, all my flowers here I have this uh, um, chipboard piece um, that was in my stash of a clock to kind of go with the fact that there's clocks in the paper so I wanted to tie that in and then I have um, three of the brown um, yeah three of the brown tea roses that I put here here and here and then I have two of the pink and white gardenias and then up here I have the little rose buds that I've tucked in there and then I have some rosebuds down here and then I have another couple of rosebuds over this way and then some of the pink ones here underneath 
and I've taken a uh, white seam binding and I used uh, Victorian velvet and vintage photo distress ink on it to kind of distress it up a little bit and then I used one of the little pink crystal brads in the center of it and then I have a pearl spray um, bling here on the top and that's my little box it just it came out so stinking cute and I just I love the paper and uh, I just love how it came out so um, thanks for stopping and please stop back and watch for my next project which um, it's going to be a little bit bigger so um, please stay tuned for that and please check out the rest of the ladies um, rest of the design team and see what they've been up to they doing some really beautiful projects and I will put the link to the store the Facebook and the YouTube channel down in the box below um, check out their store they've got some really great flowers beautiful flowers and uh, check out the YouTube channel um, and just um, thanks for stopping by